What's going on guys? My name is Carrie, and this week we have a brand new two bedroom, two bathroom home coming in and I'm gonna show you the entire delivery process. So it's going on to a large lot and a mobile home park. So if you've ever wondered what it's like to see a brand new manufactured home get delivered into a park, well, you've come to the right place. We've done all the prep work on the lot, it's ready to go, and it looks like we've given the driver enough room to maneuver the house in, but what I always tell people is, it looks like a lot of room until you put a house in it. So we'll see what happens. Next week, I'm gonna do a full tour of this home, so make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. All right, enough chit chat. Let's go to the site, and we're gonna watch this brand new manufactured home get delivered. The last look of an open lot here in Countryside because what I'm looking at in front of me is a thing of beauty. When you're waiting for a house that's coming over 900 kilometers and it gets here through the snow, you're always a bit excited, so let's have a look. All right, here he comes. He's coming up Front Street and where I'm standing, he's gonna turn, go up Third Avenue and then he's gonna back it into our lot on the right here. And hopefully everything goes smooth, but we'll see because it's a big house and we've got some trees in here, so that always makes things interesting. So it's a little bit dirty because it did travel through the snow last night. The guys were saying they did go through a few slippery sections, um, but I'm liking that color. This is called Sage and I haven't done one of these yet, but I like it. Looks sharp. So that's the back side of the house. This is two bedroom, two bathroom. 66 feet long by 16 feet wide. There's Jason. There's the front. Well, it looks like I was wrong on his approach because he's going up 2nd Street to turn around from what I can tell. And that, folks, is why I'm behind the camera and not behind the wheel of this truck. Because he probably looked at it and said, you know what, I want to back in off Front Street and I'd have got it struck in the trees. So we're going to let the pros do their thing. I'll give my commentary, but now you know you got to take it with a grain of salt because I'm seeing this as you are. This is not live, but we're, uh, we're gonna work through this together. <laughs> there he goes, he's got her straightened out and he's utilizing the compost area over there. So that's where the grass clippings and leaves, stuff like that go in countryside. Perfect spot for him to turn around. So he's gonna back it up, head out north and then back up into number 56. He's got it all handled. All right, he's got it turned around. And now he's making his way back towards the lot. Let me know what you think of this color. I'm really liking it. It's kind of a grayish green almost. Let's get up close. It is a bit dirty, so it's gonna clean up a bit. Eee, yeah, I like that. It's heading down. You really gotta take your hat off to these drivers because you should see some of the places. Like this one isn't overly um, difficult for them, but some of the places they go. He was telling me last week when we were over at the other delivery that they're still going up to the Yukon to none of it. Like it's winter up there and there's just snow all over the place. They hop behind the, the seat of this or behind the wheel of these trucks and they just haul houses all winter long. It's absolutely crazy. Okay, here we go. Easy work. So I wonder if he's gonna go across the lawn or if he's gonna just pinch it right around that corner. Let's get up there.
because we do have that tree to contend with. We did take one out because there was just no way we were gonna get the house in with it there, which is always unfortunate. I know people hate to see a tree go and I, I'm one of those people as well, but sometimes you don't have a choice because you can't live in the tree. You need to live in a house. I guess you could technically live in a tree, but it's gonna be cold. We're there. This is where we need to be. And it's kind of a weird angle coming around this tree. So we'll see what happens. I've got full confidence in them. This might take a little wiggling. So Jason and the two pilot drivers just had a meeting on the pad to kind of come up with a game plan. He's got these two drivers uh, walking around the outside. Basically, they're his eyes as he's backing it up, the stuff he can't see. They kind of let him know if he's getting too close to something or if he needs to shift the other way. So what their plan is, is get by this tree and then basically cut it around. And as you can see, they're going across the grass there and sometimes you know what, we don't like to do it, but that's the only way to do it. So it's either you go across the grass and we'll fix it after, or you don't get the house in. So sometimes you just don't have a choice. This is what I'm talking about. Everything looks like a lot of space until you put a house in it. Look at this. That entire road is taken up by the house. Six inches of the tree. It's a game of inches. Start turning it around. One of the best jokes that's always told on <laughs> deliveries is we'll get it like right to where it is now and Someone will always say, we'll listen for it. Should we block it up there? It's a tale as old as time on these job sites. <laughs> and you know what, it never gets old. All right, branches have been trimmed, so that should get us an extra six feet. Then he can move the house towards the tree. Let's have a look and hopefully make that corner. Oh yeah, so look at that. Let's gain all that space right there that he can move it over, sneak it around the corner and onto the lot. Here we go again. Here we go. He's got it by the tree. He's starting to round the corner. Looks like we might get her in there. Perfect. Look at that. Got her fully turned around. I think we're gonna be home free. A little bit touch and go for a second, but it's got this handle now. Oh, it's turning towards me. Beautiful. Just a couple more feet and we're home free. The man, the myth, the legend, Jason, gets it done yet again with very few issues little hung up between the trees but once we got it trimmed no problem easy work for him look at how nice that looks there too you can see how big the yard is from this angle Yeesh. all right it's officially off the truck all told this delivery took one hour and 45 minutes we started at 8 it's now 9 45 
pretty smooth all in all a little bit of a hiccup getting it in the driveway but that's to be expected it's a big house so if you want to see the inside of this i am going to do a home tour make sure you subscribe to my channel to see that because it's probably coming in the next week or so uh, that's all i've got for today thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one